A special speed training by means of a specific many ball training is important to improve the table tennis performance. In this video you get to know important methodical facts about this kind of speed training as well as some useful exercises. In addition, affecting factors of speed training will be discussed because the ability to unfold maximum speed is very complex. During exercise 1, forehand top spins are performed. The coach spreads the balls in the forehand side so that the player has to do small adjustments with his footwork. In addition, the coach has to play a frequency that is at the edge of what a player can do. The 100% physical and mental effort is an important stress factor to signal the body and brain that it needs adaptations in neural and muscular processes and structures to become faster. After the 10 second stress interval, the player has a one minute break to restore important phosphates in the muscle cells that are needed for these maximum speed contractions. During this time, other players can do the stress interval in which around 14 strikes are possible. In exercise 2, the same stress interval is done with the backhand topspin in the backhand side. Each exercise is done for two series and after this the break should be between 3 to 5 minutes to have a physical and mental recovery period. What you can do during these breaks you can see at the end of this video. During exercise 3, forehand and backhand topspins are performed from the backhand side. One or better two side jumps take the players to the right spot to have an optimal position to hit the ball with a good quality. Among the speed affecting factors of a player are First, the percentage and kind of muscle fibers. Some players have a good genetic predisposition for speed performances because they have a high amount of fast twitch fibers in their muscles, but it is also trainable to a certain extent. Second, the quality of techniques of the strikes and footwork patterns that are used. The optimal inter- and intramuscular coordination with the good timing of tension and relaxation of muscles and muscle fibers are a good basis for high quality speed performances. This is also observable here in exercise 4 when forehand and backhand topspins are performed out of the corners of the table. In this situation also a good shift between forehand and backhand with the racket over the table is very important. The details of the used techniques are also influenced by the distance of a player to the table because the length of the swing and the horizontal and vertical plane of the strikes have to be adapted. That's why in exercise 5 forehand and backhand topspins are executed from half distance. The third influencing factor of speed performances are the metabolic processes. During short intense stresses like during table tennis rallies, muscle cells work in an anaerobic metabolism without producing lactate. The amount of stored phosphates, enzymes and minerals that keep the muscles contracting and the rate of restoration influence the muscle work. A regular speed training brings good adaptations in this field. The amount of muscle strength, especially of the leg and core muscles, is the fourth factor that influences speed performances. This becomes also clear during exercise 6 when two side jumps are performed to play forehand topspins from the middle and the forehand side. A high quality of speed strength and reactive strength on a solid base of maximum strength of the leg muscles ensure a fast footwork. A good core strength optimizes 
the impulse transfer from feet to hand for a high quality of strike power. Further factors that influence speed performances are psychological factors such as the volition, anthropometric characteristics as well as the nerve conduction velocity. How fast nerve impulses can be transmitted does not only affect the signal transmission from the brain to the muscles, but also from the sensory organs to the brain as the first step of fast reactions. The speed of reaction and anticipation processes can be trained via half or full irregular exercises such as here in exercise 7. The structures and processes of nerval conduction can be best trained with children because they are still developing and therefore have a high rate of adaptation. Speed gains in youths and adults can mainly be achieved by improvements of strength abilities. There are different possibilities to organize the one minute break between series within one exercise or the three to five minute break between exercises if you do this kind of training with only one or two players. First, a good and exact high toss for service can be practiced. Try to throw the ball higher than the prescribed 16 cm to use the additional height energy for more quality in your service. Second, a pre-exercise for backspin feeling for a forehand backspin service can be practiced. For this, players should try to brush the ball at the south pole so that it comes back after a few table contacts. This can also be done with the backhand side or with different kinds of the grip in the forehand side to find the best touch for a backspin service. The third break organization exercise can be the forehand backspin service with a high toss and the aim that the ball should come back to the net or to the service player's side. But pay attention to technical details of the service training like a weight transfer to the front foot which is not shown optimal in this example. This can also be done with the backhand side as it is shown here. For a good backhand service it is recommendable to open the foot, hip and shoulder position so that the left body side is behind the right so that there is more space to reach back during backswing for a good acceleration. During breaks it is also good to give optical and verbal feedback. The content can be technical or motivational. Try to find a trustful, positive and motivating atmosphere to support the players to give the 100% intensity that is necessary during speed training. Another useful break exercise is to learn the juggling with three balls. Juggling has good effects on the hand-eye coordination which is needed for table tennis. Ball feeling and anticipation are practiced which has a good effect on timing during service, receive and free play. The juggling with two balls in one hand prepares more complex juggling skills. Thanks for watching, have fun during training and please subscribe and ring the bell.